pitch as we spoke at length last season about how wonderful the pitch is and we've come in this morning and it's uh, no more what's going on well it's wonderful because we did this at the end of last season as well so um uh and it's an ongoing thing um you know you you rest on your laurels and, and you go backwards so um uh we we obviously seek advice and um you know this is a way to manage these pitches and we've had some tests done and there weren't quite enough fibers in the pitch so we are uh we've we've killed the grass as soon as the season finished which is why it was yellow you see pictures of it being yellow um like saudi arabia uh, and then uh, the guys arrived yesterday and after there was a presentation in here we um we shaved the picture off the boys work till half 10 last night uh, the pitch is now in the car park um and going to be taken away uh, in the next uh, over today and tomorrow and recycled um we're hoping to be able to use it at the training ground in the future a bit too much for me to cope with this year but we're taking some samples away and see what we can do and use it as a dressing out there so we won't waste it uh, uh they're just trimming up around the edges so uh, we get a really smooth surface everywhere again did a great job last year and, and hopefully even more improvements this year we've, we've adjusted the gradients a little bit around the edge to to shed a bit more water um, while we're doing this while we're doing this um, this operation and uh, there's 180 tons of fiber sand going in here uh, it, it has to be worked wet so we'll then turn the irrigation on and um, we will uh, work it into the surface so we'll mix that fiber fiber so the fiber content will go up and we're at 0 0.015 at the moment and we need to get to 0 0.03 so we're actually putting on uh, a concentrate of the fiber sand at 0 0.06 so it's slightly higher concentrate so it brings that level up um, and uh, all, it's all done mathematically by people far more intelligent than me um, and I just do as I'm told, but it's my job to make sure it happens. Um, the boys here are from Chaplows again that did the training ground and have done this stadium. They did the renovation two years ago. Uh, they class it as their stadium, which is good for us because they, they put their name behind it. And uh, we're really proud to work with them. They have to come a long way. Um, and it says something about the intent of, of ourselves that, that we're prepared to um, invest this money. And yeah, we've got a great team. Uh, and they will be playing on a great surface again next year. Last year, we got lots of, uh, lots of praise from the opposition. Um, not, I'm not very good at accepting praise, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, we got it and everyone was happy. So uh, we hope to be better again next year. I was a bit nervous last year that if we did get a really wet game, a run of wet games, the surface might be a little bit, might soften up a little bit, which is why I'm pleased that we're investing and putting more fibers in and uh, so if we do get a, wet, a run of wet games which we are going to do it may be next year it may not be the year after um, the surface will still be exactly the same uh, for the guys to play on um, which is what a modern football club's all about that's what everybody's doing um, everybody's looking to improve their pitches these guys are off to colchester as soon as they leave here they've been at leeds they've been to all you know some really big names uh, do a lot of work on their training ground so they, this is their main job of you know looking after sports pitches football pitches in particular they do a few rugby league pitches i think up around their around their their home um but yeah so really excited great weather everything's going well by wednesday this will be seeded and it'll be ready to go again uh and we'll and they'll be leaving us uh to grow it in um and then get a bit of feed on we're going to go back in a minute back to the to training ground obviously the storm took its toll on the surfaces out there uh, and we have reworked those surfaces, but we're going to do a bit more work in and get the irrigation going. Um, today, obviously, we've got no rain forecast, so we'll be firing up the irrigation system, which I will add comes from the borehole. So the hose power, we're not taking water from the mains anymore, which we did for years. So, uh, you know, we're not, uh, we're not taking water away from people's houses. Um, um, you know, so it's great, really good stuff. What's the timeline? You mentioned Wednesday um, and then um, is there a certain point where the pitch will be ready to play on? Obviously, I know we've got that. that yeah, basically, um, I think, um, and, and, and very dynamic at the moment, I know around the club you've got to keep an eye on your social media stuff uh, to see when we're playing and where we're playing, but I am aiming for the week before the season starts. I think we've got a game here. Um, it's talk of a fairly big club coming here, for, and that'll be a great sort of shakedown, um, but we're aiming for that date. Uh, we'll, probably be, we'll probably aim the week before, 
so we know we're going to be ready. Um, so I'm anticipating by Wednesday this will look very sandy and have seed on it, um, and then we'll have to keep it wet. Uh, and then, well, we, we have grown seed in three and a half days here before, two years ago. So, but I don't think we'll do three and a half days this year because there was a lot of moisture in the soil that year. There's less moisture in the soil this year. Uh, so I would hope after, by seven days, you will see a green haze. Uh, and, then we're, and then we know the surf, that everything's germinated. And uh, I would imagine within three weeks, three to four weeks, we will be looking at thinking about mowing it. And then once you start mowing it, it thickens out. And then, and then you really start working it. And then we've got to, because we've taken all the corner flags out, um, gold sockets are still in. So marking out is fairly easy. Um, get a mark on it and that'll be done the week or two before, put the goals all back in. Uh, we've got to service all the goals, um, make sure all the clips and everything are, are in good order. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're not far off ready for next season. The weather forecast for the next week to 10 days, it's, you know, mid twenties forecast for quite a few of those days. Like you said, with less moisture, is, it, is that hot weather perhaps not as beneficial as it, as it would have been if it had been warm? Again, with the borehole here, we've yeah. got no restrictions on us, um, apart from volume, which we, we only use a certain amount every, every day anyway. So we will be irrigating. Uh, we invested in a new controller last year, um, which um, took the stress out of it a little bit for me. Um, you do have problems with irrigation systems. Uh, they are electronics in the ground that have to stay there all year round. So there will be a bit of maintenance going on, but we've got great support um, uh, from the local en uh, water engineers. Uh, so yeah, every everything's great, uh, ready to go. We're, we're, we're cooking on gas. Well, uh, we can't wait to see the finished product and I'm sure we'll be catching up again in the next week or two to, to see where we're at. But Chaz, thanks very much. And we'll uh, let you crack on as you are uh, a very busy man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not actually that busy. I'm just wan wandering, <laughs> around, wandering, around, uh, wandering around, poking and prodding and, and answering questions. And uh, finally, the, you know, rocking the high beers as well. It's, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I'm obviously moved up in the world because I've got the full, I've got the full chap loads. The only thing is he, he sent it down. I said, I did ask for an extra large, and this is a large, so it kind of, kind of looks more like a crop top than anything <laughs> else. But uh, yeah, so I'm hoping he might send me, if he re looks at this video, then he might send me a double XL down, uh, so uh, I don't have to breathe in constantly. <laughs>